Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Maggie Seure and I'm so glad to come to you again. I just want to let you know as always that it is not by error to let you know that it is not by error or by mistake that you're watching or you clicked this video. It's because it can be of help to you or to somebody that you know and so welcome. And I'm still on marriage. I'm still doing a um, series on marriage and today I just want to, to focus on, 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 on the do's and don'ts during separation. You see, if you are separated today or you know somebody who is separated, this is a moment where there are some things that you're supposed to do and there are those that you're not supposed to do. So I'm going to just highlight them. Uh, I'm going to give you uh, five don'ts and in, in, in five do's. And uh, this is just part of what is there. So I just... Uh, I just chose a few of them to just come and share here today. So the first thing, I will start with the do's. I mean, let me start with the positive. So the things that you're supposed to be doing if you're in separation today, number one, is pray a lot. I cannot lie to you. Where I am today in my life was bathed in prayer. You know, when you reach this point in your life, when you know that all your tactics are over, you have tried all you can, and there's still nothing you can do in your own way. This is the moment you surrender to God totally. And I'm telling you, God is so faithful. You'll be surprised at how God will come through if you dedicate your life in prayer and prayer concerning your issue. Anytime you get depressed, anytime you stressed up and you start thinking about your marriage and, and what's going on. If you just go into prayer and dwell in prayer, I am telling you today, my sister, my brother, God is going to come through and he's going to give you an answer of what is going on. That is what happened with my case. God will come through for you. So this is a period of prayer. If you've never been close with God, it is a time. If you really want him to come through for you, this is a time to create a close relationship with God for the sake of your marriage in this period of separation. Number uh, number two thing, I mean, the second thing that I would love and uh, I would really suggest that you do is uh, during this period is talk to the right people. This is a time you cannot, you know, you, you if you just stick to yourself and you know you're lonely and stressed out, it may be so hard on you. I advise you that you get the right people to speak to. And in the right people, I mean, talk to your parent. If, if you find solace in your parent or the right advices from your parent, you talk to them. Talk to a pastor or a priest, you know, somebody who, a spiritual person, a spiritual mentor, because this person will be able to guide you on the right things to do based on what's going on in your marriage. Um... You can talk to a counselor. You see these people who are professionals in marriage issues. You can speak to them. They can encourage you and, you know, give you direction. You know, speak to the people that you trust. This is a moment that you need that somebody who may guide you. And, you know, above all, as I mentioned in point one, pray a lot because God should be your number one person you tell. Tell it to God before you tell it to anyone. And uh, the third thing that I want you to, to do during this period is focus on your on raising your kids the right way. You see, there's a, there's a tendency or a temptation to fall out and, you know, and give up in life and you don't even care about your kids anymore. You see, you concentrate on your stress, you concentrate on what you're going through, and you forget that God has given you human beings that are under your care. So I'm talking about those people who have kids. If you have children, focus on them and focus on raising them the right way. Even in this period of a hard time in your life you will thank you will thank yourself later you will thank god later when years go and you realize that your children are well behaved you raised up good kids because many people lose that touch along the way because of issues of course you you uh, it will be like you, you you can't be blamed but if you don't really focus on the children right now you may there is a gap that may be created between you and them and uh, the fourth thing that i really want you to do so important is to forgive it is so important because many people during separation we don't forgive i can't I, I remember i took forever to forgive in my case i took a long time to forgive my spouse and, and this is a period where you 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 feel like you, you are the victim you see but there is healing in forgiving you see when you let go no matter what they did actually now this is a point where you don't say ah, ah my case was worse they did this to me no it doesn't matter what it was whether they hurt you physically whether they hurt you emotionally spiritually whichever way it is time to forgive them from deep within your heart you see we all know importance of forgiveness we've been preached to in our churches that when you forgive that is when god can hear your prayers you see you cannot go and ask god to forgive you or present whatever prayers to god when you know you are not forgiving somebody 
So if you're stuck in unforgiveness, then it, it will take time before you, you get sorted from your situation. So the faster you want your situation to be sorted, the faster you should do, uh, you should forgive. And I'm not saying forgiveness is easy. It is one of the most difficult things to do as a Christian. It is God that you go to again. Go and tell God, you know what, God? It is so hard for me. I can't do it. Help me. If you tell God to help you, you will be surprised at how quick you will forgive. You'll be surprised at how quick your heart will be so lifted and you'll get the peace of God. So it's still you go to the same God. God didn't say it is easy that you should just wake up and say, I forgive. But if you cry to God and tell God, help me in this matter because it is hard for me. Please forgive during this period. Another thing that I want you to do a lot is to study a lot on, 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 on study or listen to marriage topics or go to even seminars, you know, find material that will, will build you. Listen to uh, marriage counselors, you know, um, those people who have, who share on marriages, you know, just get information, information on, on marriage, get information, even on separation, you know, get to understand things that are happening so that you are knowledgeable. It will be able to help you. It will expand your knowledge, even on marriage, because you never know what God is preparing you for you ahead. In, in case you're somebody that God is planning that they will remarry, you need to be able to be ready for that marriage. You need to be able to be seasoned. So get the right material during this period and use the period to learn now let's go to the don'ts to the don'ts i don't want to take a lot of time the first thing that you should never do when you're separated is to move on too soon never be quick to move on i know i have talked about it in, in in some video in one of the videos and i'm just insisting don't be quick to move on you might fall into a serious pit because the enemy is not asleep he knows what is what, what's going on in your life and he's waiting to trap you so don't be quick to think that there is somebody better than your spouse. There could be, but take time and pray a lot. So don't be quick to move on with anyone. And they will come. There will be so many people who make you think that they are better. Don't be quick to move on. Take a lot of time until you know that God has surely directed you. Another thing, never tell it to your children. Kindly, this is very important. If your children are young, do not tell them what is going on in your marriage. And I mean, if the children are young, uh, are too young to handle the situation unless they are old enough number one if they are old enough to understand you can share with them or if they've watched what you've been through maybe you've been going through physical abuse for example your children have watched it they've seen you being beaten this way you can share with them but if they have no idea of those fights and you've just gone out of your marriage try to keep um the exact things that happen from the children because it will torture them. You may think that you're, you're just recruiting them to, to help you in the pity party, but actually in the process, the children will be so, will go through stress and they may not say it, but they will feel, they will be affected in a way. And, and this is a serious and big topic about it. So don't tell it to the children what you're going through. I have to say, for the longest time when I was in separation myself, I hid all these things from my children. They never got to know that there was any problem. Although we were separated, they only thought that it's the distance. So because when their dad would come, he would come and see them anytime. So they never experienced any, any tension that there's anything going on. So do not deny, uh, do not uh, tell, do not tell your children what's going on. But I said, unless they are old enough, or unless they have seen what's going on, so you need to explain to them. Another thing, number three, don't deny access of your children to their to their parent if you're the dad or if you're the mom only if they are not abusive physically you know if you can trust that the children are safe with them give them access you know once in a while let them children go and, and, and see them allow them only in cases you know i don't want to to to, to get in trouble with those people who think no mimi ni piano watoto wangu i'm talking about if you know this person is morally upright enough and you can trust that the children will be safe then do it it is for the children it's not for him so do not let the relationship with the children and him to be to be injured and and that is one thing I also i was very careful about during my separation that um, i did not i did not recruit my children to really hate their their father and of course my children were young and uh, so do not um don't deny access unless you know that there is danger for the children or moral danger, you know, for their morals. But if you know that you can trust them with them, 
just give access and you know it, it's not long you know just th that short access of here and there it will be very important another thing don't tell it to the world you know don't announce your issues to the world the world will get back at you so badly and I have done it in one of the videos that I regret telling those going so open to the world, to the people I don't even know in talking about those ill things. And uh, so don't open up to anybody, you know, don't. Like I said, just tell it to the right people. Don't open up anywhere, you know, telling people, you you know, this is what he did, Alini Fania, even all that to anybody, anyhow. You may regret it later. And I want to connect it to the last but not least. Be careful on what you say. You may have made up your mind that I'm not going back to this marriage. I'm not going back to this person. Don't use it. Your lips will arrest you because you do not know the will of God. So be careful on the finality of your words. It is better to pray in silence and seek God, but do not be, be final in your lips or in your words. Unless you have heard from God and you're sure of what you're saying. Do not curse. Do not cast your life like you, Eri Nikai Pekiango, I'll never want to marry anybody again, or I will never go back to them again. You know, do, such words that are so final, be very careful. Do not use such words. Be careful with your words. Do not cast your future. Do not cast your life. Do not even cast them. Be careful with your words. Otherwise, thank you so much. I'm sorry I took quite a lot of time this time, but I know that this video will be of help to somebody out there. God bless you so much. And if you've not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do that so that you can be able to get a, a notification on any time I post videos on, on, on any, any videos or music. Thank you so much. God bless you and bye-bye.